YouTube friends. Okay. So I've been here talking, thinking that I was recording. <laughs> and I'm actually, I just took a picture. <laughs> so anyway, here I am. Let me just tell you what I'm doing. I bought these kits from Hobby Lobby years ago. And as you see, they were originally $5.99 and now they're $2.15. Well, when I bought them, and I bought them years ago. The reason, though, that I'm doing the video on it now and didn't do it years ago was I used to buy just a whole lot of stuff and be like, oh, one day when I get some time, I'm going to try it. And in this time of COVID, where I'm at home, and I just need to get rid of some stuff because i got a whole lot of stuff in my basement. I need to get rid of a lot of packaging. So, and then plus I saw them at Michael's and they're clearing them out. And they probably, if you're like me, clear some them out because people don't know about this. I always want to do stained glass, but I always really just want to do it to make a pair of earrings. I don't want to do like a lamp or a window pane. I just want to do something that I can wear. So this is about as good as it gets. So, um... Like I said, these were bought years ago, but it, and it's uh, from www.colorbox.com. And, but Michael's is clearing some out, so you could probably go online. And I don't know if they, I think they call it Fuse Jewelry, but they have the earring frames. And they probably had necklaces too. And then they had these where you could buy the fusing um, glass separate so if you don't want to use what they have and you want to do something unique or different then you could get that so this one came this is a necklace and it came with the frame you got the chain four jump rings and a clasp and then it came with these three little baggies of um the fusing glass and and directions okay so but they call them crystals. So it came with that. And then it has the directions which tell you to, to warm your, um, you know, preheat your oven at 375. So I got my oven heating. And then this one came with two pairs of earrings. So it got the two earring frames, the two earring hooks, the jump rings that are needed, and three bags again. Now, I didn't want to use that gray and orange. I'm a cool person my skin tone so I wanted to use cool colors so and then I was going to do all of them because it's such a small cute little project but I decided I'm not going to do these because uh, I just want to make a good quick video um you know so if you watch and see it you like it and see how easy it is and I'm plus testing myself to see how easy it is and I'm going to show you it says to you're going to lay it down on the flat side so that you can see this is the flat side. And plus, I want to take more time, you know, and do these and decide which colors I'm going to put in there. And then again, too, another reason is because if I mess these up, I got another opportunity. I don't normally wear earrings like that, but it gives me another opportunity to play. So, I um had already was over at the stove. It tells you to put four down on a cookie sheet. I don't have um, a standard cookie sheet anymore. Somehow it got tossed out. I don't, I don't even know why. I got some silicones and um, sheets. And I got one of those little things that come with your stove that got the little air strip. And they said, don't do that. They said, you can't use a toaster oven. You can't use a microwave. You have to use your oven. And they say it's safe enough to put in there um, just as you would a cake. That's what they say. So we're going to roll with it. Okay, so... I put some, you see, I put some glue in there. I put the necklace and stuff flat against the um, foil. I was going to use, I baked the quiche last night, so I was going to use that. Okay, so what I do, because they're saying that, you know, the different things you can use, tools, tweezers, and all that. I didn't bring my tweezers over, but I thought I was recording early and ran and got them, so you didn't see that part. Okay. So, yes, I'm a lefty, so you see I got to turn this here to make this work. To my benefit so and i just pour them in here and i'm just trying to squeeze them enough they said they in the directions it said that um you know you pile it up in the center and that they'll kind of melt into the corners and 
So I'm going to believe that they will. And I just hope that they don't run out from underneath. But I guess if they do, I'll have to sand them or file them down. But I'm, I still want to make sure I kind of get the corners because I don't want them, you know, to have empty spaces. And then I don't want my colors to blend in with each other. So, um, and I'm just thinking I should have done a, have done a video <laughs> on making that quiche last night too. We were eating dinner. My husband works late and he's at a uh, late shift. So I had to make sure I told the girls don't eat up for them because they ate up that tenderloin I cooked the other day. I had fixed this thing and didn't close it down and went into the other room watching something on TV and my baby went in there and she ate it. I was like, oh, we're supposed to say something for your dad. And yeah, she was all in tears. So I'll cook another one. And it'll be just as good. So, yeah, I'm trying to make sure I got enough. That's looking really, really pretty. I mean, it's looking pretty without effort. And these look like little bugle beads. Bugle, well, I was going to say bugle beads are beads. <laughs> but that's what they are. They're beads. <laughs> they have this shape. Okay. I'm trying not to be too messy we'll get it worked out Okay, let me just tell you. I'm trying to decide, do I need the readers for this or not? That's funny, because uh, y'all saw me trying to put it in there, and I thought I had made it and missed it, and went on the complete opposite side. Yeah, I see a few spots that need to get put in there. And they said it's going to be some, I'll hear some crackling. And they said that's normal. And it's gonna take it about, um, they're saying probably about 15 to 25 minutes. And that ranges because it depends on your stove. I was gonna put those to the side, but I'm thinking if they don't fit them, I'll just try to put them, put them in here. I think these color choices are really good. And this may, inspire me to go get some from the Michaels kit. But at the same time, my thought is, if you're not going to use them now, just leave them in Michaels or let somebody else get them more. Let them go to the next domain. I don't have to get it because of its clearance. Because I found that a lot of things I've been buying because it's clearance. And I say, oh, well, I don't know how to do that. Let me try it out because it's cheap enough for me to try it out without investing a whole lot of money. And hence, I got a lot of kits and stuff down in the basement. But I'm in the kitchen because I got a toaster oven in the basement. But it says not to use the toaster oven. Glad I know how to read because that was what I was going to do. <laughs> And just as I'm thinking I'm through, I'm not. Because I need to put 
some in this little cavity here. You know, part of my problem with the doing projects is I'm looking for perfection and don't want to make any mistakes. And I have to get over that thought because of course I know no one's perfect, but I want my stuff to come out right as we all do. But sometimes in making the mistakes you learn. That's looking pretty good. In fact, in looking at some of it, I'm a little concerned, especially if they're sticking over. You know, it's a possibility that they may melt on the side, and I don't want that either. So, I got this looking like this. It looks like I'm going to come out with a pair of earrings and a necklace. I'm going to put them in a the stove for 20 to 25 minutes. And I'm just wondering, could I make this pause instead of stopping it? So what's going to happen is, if I can't pause it, because this is a new iPad that I have. And I haven't really done it in any videos where I've had to pause yet. So, if, perchance, I don't, I can't pause it, I'll make a part two video. Okay? See you in just a moment.